Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I would like to show you how to add transitions between clips in your DDR playlists. Now you can configure your DDR playlist to play a variety of say video clips or still images and the TriCaster allows you to add transitions between them, giving you a professional look and feel without having to do anything super complicated. So the exact same transitions that are between your program and preview row are also available to add in between clips. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface. And what I want to show you today is again, adding transitions between different clips in your DDR playlist. So the first thing we need to do is add some clips to our DDR. So to do that, we'll go down to the bottom of the screen, bottom left, and click on the plus button. And then from here, I'm going to just select some random clips that we have here from TriCaster, some of our system default clips. So I just hold select and grab the last one. Bam. All right. So now I have all of these clips in my DDR playlist. So like I mentioned uh, before in a previous video is if I do a transition over to my playlist right now, I currently have it in list mode, which is this blue icon down here, these little lines. If I have it turned off, it will be white, but on it's blue. And what that allows me to do is whenever I transition it to those clips, uh, it will then just play each clip one after the other. All right, so that way if I have like some commercials in there or some underwriting or different clips that I want to just bring into my production, this will be the easiest way to just hit play and let it rip. It'll just go on and do whatever it wants to do. All right, now, uh, so let's see here, the, that clip is ending here and goes to the next one. And when I did that, it just did a straight cut to that other clip, okay? Now, uh, I had somebody ask me on YouTube if there was a way to add transitions between these clips so it doesn't just do a straight cut in between these shots. So if you watch this program video here, see it goes from the ducks and then does a quick cut over to the next clip like that. All right. So let's say we want to add some cool transitions to it. Well, e essentially, let me go ahead and switch back to my first shot. Let me hit stop on my DDR playlist. Um, so uh, in, uh, the easiest way for us to do this is to simply select all of these clips. So we're going to add a transition between all of them. and Or you can select just highlighted ones that you want. I just have them all selected just for this example here. And then to add transitions, we'll go to the bottom of the screen again once they're all selected and click on that plus button where we would normally go to add additional content. But instead, what we'll do is we'll scroll down the page, past the stills, past the titles, past the audio, and we'll go to transitions. Yay! All right, so these are all of the different transitions that are available on your switcher row between your program and preview are all available within your DDR as well. So for example, I'll go in here and select clock. And let me select this one here. And if I click OK, now you'll see that all of these transitions are now the clock transition, okay? So that's a really good way to do like a bulk selection of all of those. But let's say that you want to just do uh, the, the clock transition for some of them, but not all of them. I could just say highlight the two of them like this and do it that way. Or what's even easier now is since I have transitions already in there, uh, what I can do is click on the transition itself and then click on the plus button at the top of it and add a, something else. So for example, we'll put that transition in there. No, don't delete it, scrap it. All right. And same thing for between these clips. Let me go ahead and click that. And let's find another transition here. I'm just picking random trans transitions, okay? All right, so now we have those. Those are a little bit different, but everything else is gonna be the clock uh, transition. All right, so let's go ahead and play that out and see what it looks like. So let me do a transition over to my DDR1. And now we'll see between this clip and the next one with the ducks in it, that there'll be a clock transition. So here it comes, I'm gonna wait a little bit. And boom, there it is, looking good. All right, and then you see that I had another transition in that playlist, which will be this uh, fan out one. So we'll wait for this at the end. Goodbye, ducks. Hello, trees. 
just like that. Cool, huh? So pretty easy and simple technique. Uh, there are different ways, I mean, different transitions to add in here, and you can combine these however you want, etc. But um, as usual, I highly recommend to play around with it. And of course, have some fun. There you have it. Another way of making your shows looking top notch using transitions in your DDR playlists. Now to find more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. To find out more about New Tech products and services, you can contact your local reseller or you can visit our website, newtech.com. You can also learn more about New Tech products and services by signing up for a free interactive online demonstration at newtech.com slash demo. And for formalized new tech product training, I highly recommend checking out New Tech University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech u. And if you're posting your work with New Tech products on social media, don't forget to tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing all the cool stuff that New Tech users are working on. That's it for this episode. I hope this helps you out, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.